Welcome back, viewers. This is Steven VGRC here, and today is some kind of like a vlog to announcement to like little weird voice commentary thing. So yeah, today I am gladly to announce that the very first on-camera PC build is just around the corner. Like literally, just maybe a week, maybe less than a week. And I'm here to let you guys see some spoilers to the part list and build. Like I'm not gonna show. I do not have the parts right now, so I can't show the actual build, but I can explain what's gonna happen and the parts may parts I've chosen for my build and stuff so yeah now the build I, I am doing is not an overkill build but rather an average to high you know like around like a mid high section sort of thing build that'll last a year or two but you won't be like completely future proof because uh, some parts I'm using is a little outdated but it is still amazing performance uh, compared to its price and its date before we begin it a reminder to everyone that the price and the minor parts in the build may change or like be swapped out on behalf of the situation or the price range that they are in. Like currently, I am choosing this part because they are cheap and they are good in this different part of like uh, shops and all the website stuff. But if the part the price changes, if the better thing gets lower than like the part I have right now, of course I'll swap it out a little bit and just make some custom modding before I start off so if you see an actual video after maybe a couple of days or a week if the parts are a little different you will know what happened okay so let's get on to it first and foremost we have the CPU now this is this is a little complicated and a little hard for me because uh, right now on my list I have Intel Core i7 4790k 4.0 GHz quad core processor coming in $354 in Canada computers online and the reason I chose the CPU is uh, before the Broadwell just came out just a couple days ago. This CPU is one of the most high-end CPU, which is amazing and Devil's Canyon, which means it takes less energy, less uh, produce, uh, makes less heat. It has amazing overclockable potential. That is why I chose this thing, and it's really pretty cheap, considering the older version 4770K, which is a little not quite much difference, but it's one of maybe t 10 to 20 dollar difference. So. That's what I have right now. For CPU cooler, we have Corsair's H100i 77.0 CFM liquid CPU cooler coming at exactly $100, again in Canada computers. Now, this co this liquid cooler has been out for like nearly two years, two and a half years, almost three years now, and this liquid cooler is still one of the best and one of the most popular cooler out there. And the little concern here, I might I might swap this out with maybe Cooler Master's uh, Hyper 212 Evo or maybe um, other kind of fan bearing cooler to add a little more money on graphic card or storage and that's actually about for the CPU cooler. For motherboard, we have ASUS Z97A ATX LG1150 motherboard coming in $155 in Direct Canada and this motherboard is not overkill, it's not underkill if there's such a word like that and it's one of the most commonly used for Z97 board because it's really cheap and it is Pretty, it has pretty amazing specs considering it's like under below two hundred dollar price. I was gonna go with the VII Gene or VII Hero for Maximus uh, Asus Maximus series, but I thought that was a little overkill for my build because this is not gonna be like super computer that's like I'm gonna use for a couple of years, you know. So that's how it's going. With anything now for memory, this one gave me a headache a lot because I wanted to go with. Uh, 2133 gigahertz or maybe 2400 the thing is uh, for uh, Haswell refresh the the recommended voltage is 1.5 volts and the RAM to get that high it needs to be over it of course I'll be overclocking the CPU but just to make sure I went just in the thing 1866 giga, uh, me megahertz memory did I say gigahertz before? Hmm, oh well so we have Corsair Vengeance Pro 16 gigabyte 2x8GB DDR3 1866 memory coming in $189 and is uh, $5 shipping a total of $195 in Newegg Canada Canada whatever and this RAM is very nice and I like the uh, red and black scheme of it and yeah that's about it for storage now I already have a, a Western Digital 1.5 uh, terabyte of Casual Black Edition hard drive with me, so I can save a little money on hard drive. I can spend more, I can spend my money on uh, SSD. So I I didn't buy it, but I uh, put a list on top for Samsung 840 Evo 
120 gigabyte 2.5 inch saw SSD for $88 and NCIX now this uh, SSD having a lot of good ratings and a lot of good reviews about this and it lasts long it's fast and right and read speed and it's just spectacular very solid very nice drive that can use maybe a year or two because most well, SSD had their um, write and read life span so yeah for video card now this is really really a stress because I <clears throat> didn't go over on video cards so I might I my first choice was a GTX 770 maybe super clock from EVGA but I have Asus GeForce GTX 783 GB of DirectCU 2 video card coming in $130 and $20 off for promo so it's $510 in NCIX and now for GTX 780 500 under 550 to 600 is really cheap price and this uh, this particular uh, graphic card had a lot of good ratings with cheap price and it's amazing performance considering this is on the below $600 budget and this graphic card probably max out like all this game right now uh, out there right now in like 2k maybe dual uh, 1080p monitors even, ma even maybe 4k at medium settings at minimum 30 frames to 60 frames so it's perfect it's good it'll last like a year or two even like three four years until there's like a GTX 880 or GTX like 900 series comes out in like future so yeah now for case this case I spent a little more money on than I intended to we have Corsair Air 540 ATX mid tower case coming in $135 on NCIX now I was gonna go with maybe uh, Cooler Master's half stacker 922 or maybe a little more cheaper of like Corsair's uh, Obsidian 450D or 350D those stuff but now when I saw this case in like my local uh, um, micro ATX like, shop stuff I literally like this case from the beginning. I fell in love with this case. This case is so epic. Like, first of all, it's square, which is okay. It's not. It's it's very unique for a case, such a case like this. First of all, there's amazing and incredible amount of space in the back side for your uh, cable management, and the front is dedicated for motherboard, CPU, RAM, and like hard drive and liquid cooler only in back side you have a power supply extra hard drive storage and everything is crazy uh, big it's, it's amazing and I wanted the white and black scheme color in this case so it'll look nice with the black and red inside with uh, black and white outside now for power supply uh, yeah since this uh, build is not super overkill stuff I had to go with a little cheaper power supply but although it's still pretty good we have EVGA's Supernova NEX, 650 watts, 80 plus gold certified, fully modular ATX power supply coming in 75 bucks. Now you'll be like, well, it's pretty cheap for gold certified and 650 watts. And, and some people say 650 that's a little low. You should go to 750 or maybe 800. But now, in this uh, PC part picture.com, it automatically calculates the estimated wattage you needed. So, but the, the right now, current estimated wattage is 446 watts. And this is 650 watts. It's nearly 200 watts, uh, a little more than 200 watts uh, than needed. And even even if you overclock your uh, RAM, your um, CPU, your graphic card, you'll still have enough plenty watts for your entire computer. And this com and uh, this part supply is from Can Computer's price. It's really cheap. It's pretty good. And yeah, let's go to optical drive. For optical drive, we have LG. GH24 NSPO DVD slash CD writer coming at 15 bucks. It's it's just one of the regular optical drive you can out there. You can buy two if you want, and that's basically about it for uh, for this optical drive. It's a price really cheap for optical drive, I believe. Because some of the optical drives seen that are not even good, okay, are like 30 to like 100 dollars, and that's just crazy and and like maniacs will buy that. And the total currently right now is about sixteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollars. And I told you guys before the price may vary in the situation and the date you're in. And this build I kinda went for sub two thousand total. If it have to be. And it, the sub two thousand includes the monitors too. So now this graphic card, uh, I told you before uh, GTX 780 will handle 2K. Maybe in 4K or 2 
1080p monitors. So that's how they went with. I have two Asus V to S 24H dash P 24 inch monitor, 1080p pixel, and two millisecond coming in at 199 dollars each. And currently now it, in New York Canada, there is a 20 dollar promo off on each one, and 13 dollar shipping separately. So total of 192 dollars. And this monitor is very, rated very high and amazing quality and amazing brightness all the color and the refresh is pretty high for this price so that's what I went with and I like to have a large monitor space for my background application and stuff so yeah the total base total including like no promo no mailing rebates no shipping is two thousand and forty four dollars and seventy cents Canadian and mailing rebates like promos are total sixty dollars uh, minus sixty dollars and shipping is $30.97, the total of $2,015.67. Now, you'll say, wow, that's pretty cheap for i7 4790K, uh, GTX 780, a 16GB RAM, a uh, liquid cooler, SSD, like a uh, good power supply, uh, expensive case, and two monitor. And now, the reason this is cheap is you don't buy them in single store. So if you buy everything in NCIX or Newegg or uh, and single source of websites, it'd be way expensive, but it'd be way easier and way simpler to buy the th thing. So you, this, that's a price you gotta pay for a cheaper price. You need to have a little more patience. You need to have a little more, um, why should I say, a uh, little yeah, patience. That's the only thing. So you gotta wait on on all the parts to arrive in different dates and like all the warranties are different and everything is different. So that's the only price you gotta pay and it's really good. The total overall. I would say this build is pretty good, and I am planning to build this. Uh, not, I, I'm planning to order this parts and before this weekend, like uh, the coming weekend, in September seventh, before September seventh. So uh, probably it'll arrive in ten days around there, so I can probably build this before two to three weeks, and I'll upload the video before end of September. Pretty sure I'm guarantee you that, and I will see you guys later. Not in this video, like the next video I'm gonna upload anyway. So I think that's about it. That wraps it up and if you guys have any comments or any ideas to what build or what parts I should add and or remove in this build, make sure to leave it in the comments below and if you guys like the video, like it. If you guys dislike it, dislike it. And uh, subscribe for more uh, contents coming up every single day, not day, every single weeks. Pretty sure because since you're back in school tomorrow, so I won't, I won't be able to make a lot of videos every single week, maybe one video a week or two. So I'll see you guys later, this is Steven PGRC, I'll see you guys later again, again, and peace out.